G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and the reason that I might be looking a little bit beshaveled is because I've just finished assembling nine Alu Zinc Birdies raised garden beds. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> my lower back is a little bit knackered. There's no doubt about it that these garden beds are easy to assemble, but when you do nine in a row, it gets a little bit tough on the old body. So where am I gonna put all these garden beds? Actually, that's a really good question. Let's get into it. Oh. Well, I've cleaned myself up and I had something to eat. Yesterday, I had brekkie, just a small bit of toast actually, and after that, I got stuck into this raised bed making, and I kid you not, all I had all day and up until about 6.30 that night were two small bottles of water. I just kept, kept going. Building, 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 not stopping, because once I start something, I often gotta try to finish it, and I didn't actually get it done that night. So I ended up, of course, finishing it off this morning. But the thing is, if you've got a lot of garden beds to make, this does make the job rather easy compared to other structures. If you're building them from scratch from wood, because you've got to drill holes, then you've got to screw them in, and you've got to make sure they're square and all that. Cut them to size. What I love about these is they're so well cut. Out of all those panels, those nine raised garden beds, there wasn't one panel or one screw hole or one screw or nut that was out of place or that didn't work or that didn't fit correctly. And that is a testament to the build quality of these particular raised garden beds. But regardless, when you get a bit of momentum, it's often best to carry that on and just get the job done. That's what I've found. Because you get into a rhythm, you start getting into a pattern of how you put these things together, and then you get a little faster at it. And once they're done, they're done. So I've got nine beds all up. You can see there are four here on the left-hand side. Those ones there are the 2.5 metre by 1.2 metres, so they're quite large. The ones on my right here, they're 2.5 metres long, so they're the same length, but they're only half a metre or 500 mil wide. And then the one that you can't see from here, that is directly behind me between the two wooden raised garden beds that I built not so long ago. I did try to match the color slightly from the old painted ones. So that's why that's the only one that isn't the misty green color. So now, how are these going to blend in to the garden or are they going to be an extension? Well, I can tell you now, they're not gonna be an extension. My intent is to blend them into the current veggie garden there and not make it any bigger. If they don't all fit in, we'll do something else but for now we'll start with these skinnier ones and I'll show you where I'm planning to put them and we'll lightly put them into place so that you can see what I mean. So whilst these beds are the perfect width now the problem is I've got this space here on the right hand side that's still too small to put another one of these beds there so what do I do? I'm going to put those skinny beds along here and that should be just about right. It'll still have enough space then for a walkway to be able to push a barrow or just walk down and tend to the garden beds. These things are still pretty solid, but I can handle them. They're not that heavy that they can't be maneuvered fairly easily. So let's just put that here for now. Three. Okay, we've got a substantial overhang on this side. Rightio, you guys have got the bird's eye view. So if you can, just give me a little bit of direction on where to, oh, that's right, it's not live. <laughs> so from what I can see, is it gonna fit in nice for, the, for, for overall? Don't compare it to these other garden beds because the back of the garden expands anyway, and it's actually wider than these four. It's just slightly by about a metre. To line it up with the garden beds behind, just a bit, this side needs to go in slightly. Slightly more 
there, drag these across. And now if we have a look on this side here, and you should have a better view of it now as well, you can see that the bed is only just past that garden bed there. So it's fairly symmetric. In other words, all four, so that's 10 meters, butted up against each other of raised garden beds. The thin ones, they all fit in. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that'll work. I've got enough space to walk through here. Probably not get a wheelbarrow all the way down, but that's gonna be cool. I just need to be able to garden either side. Once these are leveled off and dug in properly, it'll be more space as well and it'll be more even and it'll look better. But I'm pretty happy. That'll be the positioning of it for these skinny beds. Now let's have a look at these other ones. This is gonna be a bigger job, the wider ones. And let's have a look at the spot where I'm gonna put them. Actually, it's a little difficult to see where I'm gonna put them because I've got this mustard, all these weeds and the pumpkin and the turmeric growing. You can't even see the old wooden long raised garden bed made of sleepers. Well, most of it's rotten out that it used to be. So give me a second and I'll work some magic. Well, I don't know why I bothered having a shower. Tell you what, that's kind of a stupid thing to do now, come to think of it. Well, at least I know where my wooden stakes went. I was looking for them. And also, oh, I found another pumpkin. How cool is that? Add it to the collection. Rightio, so now you can see it. Let me just get out of your way. Here we go. This old thing here, it's just, it's years old, it's rotten. That side there is already gone. And uh, there's pieces missing off it everywhere because it's just rotten through. The soil underneath here is pretty good. So, I might salvage as much of that soil as possible. But essentially, this is where those larger beds are gonna go. Now I think they're going to be a little bit less. I think that's 1.5 meters, and which is a little bit too wide. And I'll probably butt them up against here. Look, I'll grab one and show you what I mean. Oh, these aren't as light as the other ones. I'm gonna do this. So that's kind of how it's gonna go. Climb out without breaking a leg. I'm not getting any younger. Whoops! Hello! All right. Yeah, cool. So you see what I'm talking about? That's gonna go along there, those four. But do you think it's best to have it flush against here all the way down, like it was, or give it a slight gap? Let me know. The last thing I wanna mention is all those nine raised garden beds, a lot of growing space, came from just this small amount of cardboard boxes. They come all flat packed very simple to put together. I've done plenty of videos on how to put them together in the past and I've raved about why these types of raised garden beds, the Alley Zinc ones from Birdies, are the best in my opinion and why they're so good and how long they last, yada yada yada. You can go back and have a look at those videos if you haven't seen them. But I will say for those who are new to my channel, if you are interested in these garden beds, you can find them in the USA, in New Zealand and Australia and in some extent, I believe the UK, but for 
New Zealand, Australia and the USA, I have a deal with Epic Gardening in the US. So if you go to his website, the details are below and also with Birdies Australia and New Zealand, details below in the description of this video, you will get a 5% discount off the going price. So that's just something there. If you're interested, a little bit of a discount always helps. And this was a fair bit of money, I'd have to say. I can't remember exactly, probably two and a half grand of garden beds, you know, but I also got that 5% discount, which I'm pretty happy with. So for me, it's really worth it. This garden is gonna probably outlive me and that's what I'm after. Something that's not just practical, but that's gonna last a long time and is going to give us many years of good gardening and then perhaps one day in the future when we sell this place, we'll leave it in a better condition than what we found it. Someone will enjoy these beautiful raised garden beds put in with love and hard work. <sighs> and my back knows it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. What are you doing? Subscribe to the channel and share this video around because that helps my channel out heaps. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Oh, and one last thing. And after positioning those garden beds, I'm going to have to fill them. And if you're wondering, if you're new to the channel and are wondering, are you going to fill it with all this soil? The answer is yes and no. Not all with that. I'm going to be using the Hugel culture method and I've done plenty of videos on that. Type in Hugel culture in my video section and you'll find the videos that I've done on it and how I fill the bottom half of these raised garden beds to save costs, but also create a wonderful environment for your veggies to grow in. A symbiotic environment for animals and worms to live in that are beneficial and make your garden grow even better. So yes, I'm still gonna be filling it with lots of soil, but not as much as you might think. <sighs> More backbreaking work. It's good for you.